Hello everyone and welcome to Sally and Bytes. Today, I am here to teach Relational Database in SQL, Part 4, Introduction to SQL, Overview of SQL and My SQL, Features of SQL, Advantages of SQL and My SQL, Classification of SQL Statements, DDL, Data Definition Language, DML, Data Manipulation Language, DQL, Data Query Language, Difference between DDL and DML for the class 12 students of computer science. So, let's dive in and get started. Welcome to SQL. The world is full of data. Every application or app we use is full of data. Data is a collection of information or raw facts. In today's context, virtually every organization relies on a database management system. DBMS, to handle their data and records. For example, online phone directories employ DBMS to store information about individuals, phone numbers, and contact details. Additionally, utility companies use DBMS to oversee tasks like client electricity billing, fault data management, and other client-related matters. Furthermore, a platform like Facebook heavily depends on DBMS to store, process, and display data pertaining to its users, their connections, activities, messages, advertisements, and various other elements. How do these apps store data? All these real-life applications require a DBMS database management system to manipulate and handle their enormous data. DBMS requires some language to handle and manipulate its data which is known as Structured Query Language SQL. Let's see the overview of SQL and my SQL. SQL is the structured query language. SQL is a standard language used for accessing and manipulating databases. SQL commands are used to create, transform and retrieve information from Relational Database Management System, RDBMS. It is also used to create an interface between a user and a database. Using SQL commands, we can search any data from the database and perform other functions like creating tables, adding records, modifying data, removing rows, dropping tables, etc. So what is MySQL? MySQL is an open source and freely available relational database management system, RDBMS, that uses structured query language, SQL. Open source means, here, MySQL is publicly accessible, modifiable, and distributable under specific licenses, promoting transparency, collaboration, and cost-effectiveness. It provides excellent features for creating, storing, maintaining, and accessing data stored in the form of databases and their respective tables. A single MySQL database can store several tables at a time and can store thousands of records in it. It can be downloaded from the site www.mysql.org. MySQL is fully secured, reliable, and fast and possesses far better functionalities than many other commercial RDBMS available in the market. Let's discuss about the advantages of MySQL scalability. MySQL can handle small to large scale databases making it suitable for a wide range of applications. Performance It is known for its fast data retrieval and storage capabilities, making it efficient for data-driven applications. Reliability MySQL provides robust data integrity and backup features, ensuring data consistency and reliability. Open Source being open source, it's cost effective and supported by a vast community of developers. Security MySQL includes security features like user authentication, encryption, and access control to protect data. Multi platform support It supports several different platforms like Unix, Linux, Mac OS, and Microsoft Windows. High availability MySQL supports features like replication and clustering for high availability and fault tolerance. Ease of use 
It has a user-friendly interface and SQL compatibility, making it accessible to developers and administrators. Community support. A large and active community provides extensive resources and support. Integration. MySQL can be integrated with various programming languages and frameworks, enhancing its versatility. SQL, Structured Query Language, is a unified non-procedural language used for creating, accessing, handling and managing data in relational databases. Unified means, SQL is considered unified because it provides a single language for various database operations, such as querying, inserting, updating, and deleting data. It's a comprehensive language that works across different relational database systems. Non-procedural means, SQL is non-procedural because it focuses on what you want to achieve with your data, declarative, rather than how to achieve it, procedural. In other words, you describe the result you want, and the DBMS determines the most efficient way to execute the query. This is in contrast to procedural programming languages like C or Python, where you specify step-by-step -step instructions for how a task should be carried out. Let's discuss the feature of SQL Data Retrieval. SQL can retrieve data from a database through query processing. Retrieving in databases refers to fetching specific data using queries or requests. Data Insertion SQL can insert records in a database. Data Updating SQL can update records in a database. Database Management SQL can create new databases and modify existing ones. Table Management SQL can create new tables in a database. View Creation SQL allows the creation of views in a database. Security Management SQL permits modifying the security settings of the system. Let's see the advantages of SQL Ease of Use. It is very easy to learn and use and does not require high-end professional training to work upon it. Scalability Large volume of databases can be handled quite easily. No coding required. It is non-procedural and a unified language. That is, we need not specify the procedures to accomplish a task but only need to give a command to perform the activity. Interoperability with high-level languages SQL can be linked to most of the other high-level languages, which makes it the first choice for database programmers. Portable It is compatible with other database programs like DBase4, FoxPro, MS Access, DBZ, MS SQL Server, Oracle, Sybase, etc. SQL is not a case-sensitive language that is both capital and small letters are recognized. SQL is the language used to interact with the database. The SQL statements or commands that we type are the statements that are regarded as the instructions to the database. SQL provides different types if statements for different purposes. These statements are classified into categories that you can see on the screen. DDL Data Definition Language DDL is used for defining and managing the structure of a database. It includes commands such as create, for creating tables, indexes, and other database objects, alter, for modifying the structure, and drop, for deleting objects. The truncate statement is often categorized as part of the data definition language, DDL, because it is used to remove all the data from a table, effectively resetting the table to an empty state. While it does not alter the structure of the table, it is considered a DDL statement because it has significant implications for the database structure in terms of freeing up space and resetting auto-incrementing values, for example. Next is DML. Data Manipulation Language, DML is used for manipulating the data stored in the database. It includes commands like insert, for adding new records, update, for modifying existing records, and delete, for removing records. Next is DQL. Data Query Language. 
DQL is used for querying or retrieving data from a database. It primarily consists of the select statement, which allows you to retrieve specific data from one or more database tables based on specified criteria. Next is DCL. Data Control Language. DCL is responsible for controlling access to data within a database. It includes commands like grant and revoke, which manage permissions and access rights for users and roles. And finally, TCL. Transaction Control Language. TCL is used to manage transactions within a database. It includes commands like commit to save changes and rollback to undo changes, ensuring the integrity and consistency of data in a database during transactions. We will be discussing DDL, DML, and DQL, as DCL and TCL are not within the scope of this syllabus. Let's discuss about Data Definition Language, DDL. The DDL part of SQL permits database tables to be created or deleted. It also defines indices, keys, specifies links between tables and imposes constraints on tables. Constraints refer to rules and conditions that are defined to control the type and integrity of data that can be stored in a table. It contains necessary statements for creating, manipulating, altering, and deleting the table. The data definition language commands enable us to specify the database's structure and perform actions related to that structure. The query and update commands, which are part of SQL's data manipulation language, DML, empower users to retrieve or modify data stored within a database. Examples of DDL commands in SQL are Create database Creates a new database Use command To select and open an already existing database Show command to display all the tables in an existing database. Create table. Creates a new table in an existing database. Alter table. Modifies the structure of a table. Drop table. Deletes a table. Data manipulation language, DML, commands. These are a component of SQL's data manipulation language, DML and are used as tools for users to manipulate data in a database. Query Execution DML commands are executed in the form of queries and are managed by the DML compiler. It contains the set of statements to insert data into tables of the database, delete data from the tables of the database, update data among the rows or records in the tables of the database. DML commands carry out query processing operations and manipulate data in the database objects. Several DML commands available are Insert into statement to insert new data record into a table Update statement to modify or change the data tuple in a table not modifying the data type of column Delete To delete data tuple from a table not deleting a column Difference between DDL and DML commands DDL stands for Data Definition Language DML stands for Data Manipulation Language DDL commands allow us to perform tasks related to data definitions, that is, related to the structure of the database objects, relations, or databases. DML commands are used to manipulate data, that is, records or rows in a table or relation. Examples of DDL commands are create, alter, drop, etc. Examples of DML commands are insert into, update, delete, etc. DDL is not further classified. Whereas, DML commands are further classified into procedural DMLs and non procedural DMLs. SQL queries in data retrieval. One of the most important tasks when working with SQL is to creating queries to extract data from a database. A query is an instruction to obtain specific information from a database table. 
The select command is the primary tool for crafting queries and retrieving data from database tables. It is used to retrieve a subset of records from one or more tables. The syntax of select command is select column list from table name semicolon. Column list includes one or more columns from which data is retrieved. We will be discussing the DDL, DML, and DQL commands in detail in the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you are new to my Sally and Bites YouTube channel to stay updated with engaging content and never miss out on my latest videos. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and relatives. Watch the upcoming videos, Relational Database and SQL, Part 5, SQL Data Types, Difference Between Char and Varchar Data Types, Constraints in SQL. You can check the link in the description box given below.